the big second-year pro, having a little bit of a breakout season. Was really silent a year ago. Gets to it in the slot, and he scores. A good pass by Lindbergh. Finds Justin Vive in the high slot. He must have hurt something down there. 422 in, and it puts the Wolfpack on top early, 1-0. I'll thrown out of the dot. Vaughn will come in. Graham and Churchman on defense. Richmore controls, Lankow right point, Graham with a wrist shot, save made, rebound in the slot, drive, score! Brett Gallant, the tough guy, bangs in the rebound for his first goal of the season and ties the game at one, and it's Teddy Bear toss time here at the Webster Bank Arena. Gonna see that call be made. Right off the draw, big drive by McElrath and the Wolfpack score. Looked like a tip on its way in, but it was a quick face-off victory by Hartford that got through Kevin Poulin on the road in Tennessee. Second period underway. The Sound Tigers down a goal, but Courtenall plays it right side. Shot save, rebound, score! Just eight seconds in. Colton Gillies bangs the rebound by Cedric Desjardins, and the Tigers quickly tie things up. It's a 2-2 game. Off the draw, left point, here's Tosca. Tosca to the half wall for Mueller. This is a dangerous power play group out there. Mueller and Bork dangerous, and right in front, it's five, and he backhands it in by Poulin. That's his second goal of the night. It comes 10 seconds into the Sound Tiger penalty, and the Pack have struck twice by second-year pro Justin Vive, and they take their second lead of the night. It's 3-2. to two. Sound Tigers to Churchman deep in his end, dumped down by Sapinari, snapped to the high slot. Hughes, a shot save, rebound, score. Ryan Bork got to the rebound, angling down the left side, and he beats Pullen to give Hartford their first two-goal lead of the night. It's 4-2 to two Wolfpack. It ahead to Sundstrom, out through center, over to Courtnall, down the right side, snaps the shot, save mid, rebound on the backhand side of Courtnall, thrown in front, they score! Colton Gillies crashing the net, looked like he got the last piece of it, and the Tigers tie it up with 5.20 left to go! Off the draw, here's to Linder, from the point to Ryan Bork, Bork center point, Ryan Bork moving left in front, deflected on goal, they score, great backdoor pass, and Chris Mueller gets the game-winning goal, 52 seconds, into overtime, the Wolfpack win by a final score of five to four. I'm not happy at all with the uh, with uh, the game. Uh, obviously, if you want to pull a positive, yeah, we played 20 minutes tonight, and uh, that's never going to be enough in this game, in this league, in any league, and uh, it's not acceptable. Again, uh, I thought our discipline was better tonight. That was a, gave us a fighting chance tonight. Um, you know, I thought there was a lot of positive points, but there was no, uh, the game's played with passion and, uh, and emotion and heart, and you have to channel that, and you obviously have to harness it, but when you play the first two periods lackluster and uh, you don't play as hard as you can for 60 minutes, you're going to end up in the wrong end of the stick, and, and uh, that's exactly what we did. We ended up in the wrong end. We, we battled for a point. We'll take that, but uh, it's not nearly enough. Um, you know what, I, I know what I need to do every night. I know I need to go in there. I need to have, have a strong off or a strong forecheck and let, they should know that I'm out there every shift. Um, just hitting guys and, and getting in there, getting to the hard areas, which is the net front. So, um, you know, I just, my line mates played great and, um, they made great plays and just everything worked out. Yeah, obviously, obviously, yeah, exactly. Obviously. Um, maybe if I was a couple of games in, I might have scored those those chances I had. Um, you know, I th obviously we got off to um, we were a little shaky the first two periods. So we we showed a lot of signs of being a great team, and we showed a lot of signs of um, you know not being so good. And, um, and then we, you know we had a good talk from the coach in between second and third, and I think that showed in the, th in the third period. But we got to bring that every every shift of uh, of every game, and um, we just have to show that desperation. And I think we did that in the third. And, you know, I think I could have made a better play on that two and one in overtime. Maybe sh got a shot on net. Um, it was unfortunate balance on the offside. Uh, and, you know, that's a, that was a close call for the ref to make. And then obviously they they got that bounce at the end. And um, you know, it's just a, it's a tough loss for us after that uh, big comeback. And and uh, you know, hopefully we can uh, figure what we did right in the third period and take that into the next game. You know, just. Uh Use my speed, be physical, play with intensity. I mean, I think we've been uh, kind of taking shifts off or maybe not going the full 110% every single shift of every single game. And, you know, I mean, on that uh, fourth goal I scored, I let up a bit on my back check and it's in the back of the net. So, I mean, we have to all be better in every part of the ice. We got to four check harder. We have to box every shot that's going through, at least attempt to. We have to play as a team and play together and we'll be better. But I was just trying to lay it all on the ice and leave everything I can out there for my team.
Definitely. There's no, uh, there's no more uh, grace period. There's nothing. You, you have to be disciplined. You have to put the team first. And whether it's a, a, an innocent enough thing, we don't have to. We can't say anything to the referees. And that's, uh, you know, it doesn't help us. And at the end of the day, it, it ends up hurting us because he's a skilled guy that could help us score. Uh, I mean, we have to come.